Hey Leo, this is Nikki Virgo 111. Thank you for joining me for your weekly read. I hope it resonates you all. Take what you need and leave the rest. We're just going to get started seeing what we have for you here. Messages for the Leo. Please be concise and clear. It's timeless for the Leo. Okay. First card I have here is the Four of Swords here. Contemplating on something, holding off on making a decision about something. Uh, maybe doing some meditations. Um, maybe ending something. I'm hearing benediction. Ending something. Are you ending something? Thinking about ending something? Yeah, thinking about something. The King of Wands is very, very focused on, on maybe transforming yourself. Or I'm hearing some kind of benediction. You know, ending something or... meditation of your heart two of swords you're really uh, not sure what to do about it but you're thinking on it king of cups king of wands three of uh, wands feelings are involved seven of cups you thinking about somebody you thinking about someone Maybe cutting someone out of your life or bringing someone into your life. You're ready to speak your truth. You're ready to speak your feelings because you don't want this opportunity to pass you by. Because you think this person has other opportunities, Leo. Or if they're thinking about you. I got the Queen of Cups here. I got the King and the Queen of Cups. Okay. You want to say something to someone, Leo, or vice versa. The only thing that's keeping you two apart is is indecision, probably a little jittery, a lot of a little nervousness going on here. You don't want this opportunity to pass you by because you don't want anybody else to have this person. Ten of Cups. You got you like this person, okay? You dig you dig this person, but you're trying to figure out a way how to talk to this person, okay? Maybe you want to propose to this person, okay? More messages here for the Leo. The Prince of Wands. And we have the Prince of Swords. You have, or them, I'm thinking it's them wanting to come to you because we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. You know how you feel. You know what you want to say to this person. Maybe this person doesn't know what they want to say to you. Um, either or. Somebody is a little bit more fickle with their feelings and how they feel. Should I talk to this person? I don't, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't tell this person how I feel. I'm intimidated by this person. Maybe this person don't like me. Maybe this person doesn't feel the same way about me. Maybe this person going to cut me out. It's a bunch of maybe, maybe, maybe with your other person or with you. When all you got to do is speak your truth. Because they feel pretty much the same way you do. Okay? They do. Just got to believe in that. Or they have to believe in you. You have to believe that they want you as much as you want them. Instead of somebody in this in this, in this this reading here, <clears throat> Leo, doesn't think that they could have you. Or you don't think that you can have them. But actually you can. Somebody wants to approach you. They've been thinking about it too. Ace of Swords. This is what they see when they see you. The Ace of Swords. But they thinking like, damn, this is the Ace of Swords. How am I going to get this? And I'm only the King of Wands. They come and look. I can't. They thinking because this is what they see when they see you. They see beauty and perfection when they see you. But they thinking, they sitting on it. They sitting on that pot. How am I going to get this person? How am I going to get this man? How am I going to get this woman? Because this is what I want. I want ultimate happiness. Ultimate happiness. But how can I get this? I don't think of. They don't think of themselves as as high as they should they don't put themselves up on a pedestal as much as they should they are the they have the energy of a spilling their guts a king of wands the queen the king of cups telling people how they feel and standing up for themselves but they punk out when it comes to this to you they're they're intimidated by you by by how you look by how you act by how the way you carry yourself by your success okay they used to deal with low level people People who sneak around, people who hurt their feelings, people who lie to them, and this this put this person in shell shock. 
they 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 don't know what to do or how to communicate because they don't know how to, they don't know how to talk to you or if you're going to blow up in their face or what they think you're gonna curse them out get away from me dude i don't want to have nothing to do with you woman that kind of stuff but in all actuality they digging you too they digging you like a grave and that's a good thing we got the ten of cups and the queen of wands it's a burden because they they you are up on a high pedestal to this person okay they 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 adore the way you carry yourself you speak up for yourself and you don't let anybody step over you okay you don't they have this energy of the prince of wands but you have the energy of the queen of wands they run away from you because they're intimidated by your greatness they want to be this emperor for you they haven't grown into their themselves just yet they want to, but they haven't grown into themselves just yet because they're still dealing with insecurities. Yeah, they're still dealing with insecurities and broken hearts, not knowing how to love themselves completely so they can love you or love someone new. They don't know how, but they're working on it. They, they work, they are hard work, very smart, um, very, very detail oriented. They're probably a boss or a leader or a trainer at their work. Okay, but they're probably moving into a new direction. Okay, and moving into a, a new direction doesn't necessarily have to mean switching jobs. It's just that they're getting stronger in everything in their life and getting their pentacles set. They're setting the stage for a good life financially. All they want is a balanced relationship in their life. Somebody who's going to love them, somebody who's going to respect them. They want you and, and vice versa. And, and it's, it's like a tough pill to swallow, though, between you two, though. Because one person, even though both of you have this, this king and queen energy, this cup, this ten of cups, beautiful energy, one person doesn't know their worth, and the other person does. The other person sees their worth, you see their worth, they just don't see their own worth, okay? More messages here for the Leo. More messages for... The Leo. Hmm. Maybe somebody lives in a cottage somewhere, like in a like in a in a a place where you can't be bothered, or you have a cottage that you want to take this person to for the weekend. You still look at this person, you like, huh, I want to get with this person. You know, I really think that this is an, as a nice person. But you you the, the Prince of Cups, you are actually the king or queen of cups, but you have this lower level uh energy because you don't think this person has feelings for you you don't think this person you don't think this person likes you <clears throat> because you have this empress ahead of you in front of you or the emperor ahead of you they have this energy this strong energy that you think they may cut your throat if you say something to them okay but it's not really that way okay they, they do dig you too and they want the same thing you want they just happen to be a little bit more outspoken than you or vice versa okay Potential for a beautiful relationship, but are you going to approach this person? Are they going to? Will the person be approached? For Leo, I have here the Princess of Pentacles. Hold, all right, hold up. I'm busy right now. Okay, this person leads a busy life, and just like you do, I'm sure, or vice versa. You may think they may cut you off and don't want to have anything. You think this person has a good life ahead of them. So do you. Don't be intimidated by this. Don't kill it before it's dead. Or hopefully they won't kill it before the situation with you is all over with. The, that, that they do with the Prince of Swords want to come toward you, but they think that you may cut them off. They think that you may cut them off. They don't think you will accept their cup, but you will eventually. Pay the King of Pentacles, because this person is going to grow and get stronger, and then they're I think this person doesn't think that that they will be able to take care of you financially, which is another reason that's holding them back. They want to be able to offer you 100% everything out the box. But it can't always be that way. Okay, love don't work that way. And that is keeping them stuck. It's keeping this person stuck. Even though they want to come to you, they're intimidated by you. Just because they're intimidated by you, they want to make sure they come to you with coins in the bank. Because if you don't, they think you're going to turn them away. That's what they're afraid of. The Ace of Swords. The Three of Pentacles. The Princess of Cups. 
and I have the Ace of Pentacles. So we have the Ace of Cups. If they make an, make an attempt to come to you, it's going to turn out better for them. You may work with this person. This person, when, they're, when they come to you, Leo, or vice versa, they're going to shock you so much even though you have this prince, this, this queen of cups energy. They're going to bump you down to a princess of cups because of because of their strength and their power. This person is going to give you more than you bargained for. Like, I didn't think this person had, them, had it in them. Yes, they do. Because when they hook up with you, they're going to try their best to give you the ace of pentacles. Everything you've ever, everything you've ever wanted. Shh. Everything you've ever wanted, they're going to give you. They're going to shock you. Because they, they want to come in with the, with the king of cups or the queen of cups. And they're not. But they're going to build this up. They're going to build themselves up through the uh, through the, high, the king of pentacles or the queen of pentacles. They're going to build themselves up to this emperor or empress status. And then they're going to come to you and like, damn, they're going to bump me down from a queen or a king of cups to a prince or a princess of cups because of their power. They're going to get their power and then they're going to come to you and they're going to shock the shit out of you. Because they're going to be more than you bargained for because they worked on themselves. More than you bargained for, Leo. Because they worked on themselves to make a, to make their, themselves better for them, but to make themselves better for you. Okay? I hope this resonates with you, Leo. Talk to you later.